welcome back to Pioneer. Today, we are going to do some trading. I have a trade route set up. Uh, I wouldn't call them trade routes, but this kind of trade map, I suppose you could say. So ever since Gata finished, the, uh, the farm machinery imports that Gata finished, I've been sticking around these five systems, right? They're pretty close to Gata. There's Gata, right? Just a jump or two away. And these five systems, we could probably put uh, Thorthay in there too. Thorthay. But I've just been focusing on Yanilti, Ushalong, Gazkan, Quobhak, and Anmarhir. Anmarhir. <laughs> uh, as my base of operations. And they actually have some good trades that can be had together. Let's see. So I have a ton of hydrogen. And we are set up to go to Anmar here. We're in Gonzales Ring. So, going to Gonzales. Uh, going to Anmar here from Gonzales. Let's see. Was it? Was it fertilizer? I think. Might be industrial machinery. So, industrial machinery, yeah, is a minor import here, but it is a major. Uh, no, it's not a major import. I thought it was a major import, but it's not. It is a minor import. But, we can take it to Wilsonton in Anmar here and bring some air processors back because air processors are a major import here in Gonzales. So we have our gas, we have our course set, Anmar here A, let's double check. Yep. All right, so we're good to go. Ooh, 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 ooh. What? What? What's up with that? Okay, no. <laughs> okay, that was that was bad. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was that was bad. <laughs> Why in the world did that happen? Okay, so, now we buy more, we got our route set, <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> not a great start, not a great start, is it? But, okay, All right. That should be fine. And we're going to Wilson to Wilson. It's not too far, and it's on a little tiny moon, so it shouldn't be too hard to get to. The only problem with Wilsonton is that because it's one of those tiny little moons. Uh, the pads can clip into the side of the mountain and makes it kind of impossible to land when that happens. So, hopefully, we'll be able to get there without any problems. But I've been trading here for almost a month in game time, a little bit less than real time. Uh, and I have made a huge amount of money. Trading has been exceptionally profitable here. Okay, time to maneuver for approach. Trading has been profitable. Let's see. 
I don't think I mentioned it when I bought the materials, but yeah, we've got almost 140,000 credits. That's a lot of money, and it's just been from moving commodities around, so it's been really easy money. I'm kind of tired of, I'm getting tired of this uh, small system though, because the commodities are limited, and as you trade, as we trade, demand goes down sometimes it takes a while for that to come back up why is why is that moving around so crazily most profitable profitable but not particularly uh, repeatable commodity that we can trade in these five systems in these systems is precious metals and while the exporters of precious metals tend to refresh their stock fairly often the importers well their demand doesn't really go up quite as quickly. So we have to spend some time trading other things. Right. And the big ones we got here are air compressors, air processors, sorry, air compressors, uh, computers, and liquor. Occasionally medicines are also a good deal, but there's not a whole lot of importers or exporters of medicine medicine. Liquor is also a tough one because there aren't any major exporters of it in the area. There are a couple minor exporters, but right, minor exporters don't give us the best profit. Computers are good too, uh, but computers, of course, don't quite have that uh, huge profit margin that precious metals do. So we're coming up on Wilsonton. As you can see, it's kind of spiky, canyony little moon. It's actually got two settlements on it, which is interesting. Sometimes we can even pick up missions to go from uh, Wilsonton to Molderton over on the other side. And that was just a, like a nice, relaxing trip through normal space. That's pretty fun. Right, it's just kind of like what we're doing right now. Gliding and relaxing. Wilsonton is one of the six pad stations, starports. The only thing we have to worry about is whether we can actually land. I think we're gonna be all right. Leaving it to the autopilot can also be a little dangerous here. Because we can put down off-center. Right. 
but the autopilot doesn't want to put things off center. Let's, let's turn on cruise control since we're kind of pointing in the wrong direction. We are a little far out to, to have cruise control on though. Zoom in. Right, you can see. Uh, I think that CK9144 is actually buried in the mountain. So there's two pads open, maybe? Oh. There's WN1185. Okay. So one pad open. Yep. Our pad is half buried in the mountain. <clears throat> but that's okay. Uh, what we do is we land off center. And it still counts as long as we land on the pad. The autopilot will try to take us in on center. And that can be a problem. Because it tries to put down on the mountain sometimes, depending on which direction the ship is facing. This is not the worst pad, but it's not the best pad. The worst pad would be right over here. The one that's buried in the mountain. On a previous trading run, I actually saw a uh, fairly large trading ship try and land on that buried pad. down and then smack into the gr into the ground mountain side of the mountain and then go back up come back down go back up come back down and it eventually eventually it stopped actually on the mountain So it didn't blow itself up, but it did do some damage to itself. Alright, so here we are. Well, let's gas up first. And we need another ton of hyperspace fuel to go back to... Where were we? Where were you in? Quohawk. Quohawk? I have no idea how to say that. But anyways, we sell. It's not great profit, but it's profit. Air processors and plastics are the only the only exports this system has. And we've been going back and forth a couple times, so air processors are currently listed as a minor export. They're actually a major export, but we've just been buying and selling so many or buying so many of them that it doesn't count so next up is our return to cool hack and we go into gonzales ring where we started from didn't plan the jump there we go one ton of fuel nice and close oh while we're here i should check the bulletin board Still no special situations going on. 
that the lack of special situa situations is why I haven't left these uh, star systems behind. Because nothing's come up for the entire month. I mean, it's been profitable, but not quite as profitable as as the farm machinery thing was with Gata. And nothing has come up yet. Even the Hoenn system one has dropped off the boards. That looks like an entire year to get rid of. But we don't have any others to replace it. So we make do with what we have. And what we have is plain old commodity trading. What's that? Let's go over to Gonzalo's ring. Oops. Gonzalez. Let's go. So I think air processors at Gonzales were still a major import. So even though uh, Wilsonton only listed them as a minor export, will still be able to make a fair amount of money. Some of the more profitable things like computers and medicines will come back. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Just about ready to overshoot the mark. behind the planet. Let's check. Speed things up, take a look. Oops. Sped things up a little too much. At this point, by the time we get there, it'll be behind the planet. We'll be going past the planet in such a manner that it shouldn't be too hard to get to. So let's speed things up a bit. We still got a ways to go. planet, that means we can keep the, the braking meter up a little higher than usual. My time dilation control is still not, not great. <laughs> something that orbits the planet a lot closer. Some of these space stations, space stations, space stations, <laughs> space stations are a lot harder to approach because they are, they orbit closer and they orbit faster. 
space station or something. that a bit. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, we'll... Stop where we stop. Fucker. <sighs> yeah, it's not too far. Still not a great approach. Nah. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Not great, but not terrible. So we actually made enough money on these um, fairly easy commodity trading trips to pick up a skipjack. We don't have quite the money to outfit it, and the skipjack is actually a fairly large ship, so I don't know how to fly it. Right. I've only flown small ships so far. A small, the small Mola Mola and the Xylophus to a skipjack probably means, uh, well, flying it is gonna take some getting used to. But, but, before we go straight to a skipjack, you know, I think I might want to try a wave. It's a combat ship we talked about a little bit earlier. Why a combat ship? Well, because on Pi Day, you know, March 14, a bug fix released. A bug fix release of Pioneer was released. So, combat works, and there's some other smaller bugs that got fixed. I mean, the combat's the big one. So, we could give fighting a chance. I think that'd be a fairly large learning experience since I have no idea how fighting combat in, you know, this Newtonian six degrees of freedom kind of universe works. So that that's going to be an experience. But that's definitely something I think we can try. Hmm. Nothing good on the BBS. No information yet. So, let's sell our air processors. That's a fair bit of profit. Almost 150,000 credits. That's great. Just looking for a paint shop, though. Anyways, let's gas up. And... Right, let's call it a day. That's trading. I like it. It's profitable. We made a lot of money. I might even be able to change the ship before I ever find a paint shop to get rid of this silly purple, purple coloring. 
Oh, <laughs> it'll it'll be what it'll be. But anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all later. Goodbye.